I'm joined here with my two friends, brothers, John Andrews and Tomas Danker. And we're going to offer a couple songs. I do um, have an opportunity from time to time to do conflict resolution with teenagers from conflict zones from around the, uh, the world and here in the United States. And as well, I've worked with battered women and ex-gang members with yoga and meditation and um, creative expression workshops. This is a short little prayer I'd like to offer um, because I've been feeling all day that we're working with so much that's happened before we got here in this country. We're working with youth who are not really given the whole story and we're asking them to learn American history. Um, we're not honoring all the backgrounds of all the beautiful people that are on this land that were here before anyone even got here um, in an in a, in a everyday teaching s setting. So I'd like to just offer this short thought on that. Sever the ties of the old you and I, sever them, sever them clean. Clip back the yellow leaves, focusing only, please, on the emerald green. Sever the ties of the old you and I, sever them, sever them clean. Clip back the yellow leaves, focusing only, please, on the emerald green. I was never made for you to hurt me. I was only made for you to care. Anytime I look into the distance, one way or another you are there. So I sever the ties of the old you and I, sever them, sever them clean. Clip back the yellow leaves, focusing only please on the emerald green. I know I promise I will try, but I never say that I'll win. Cause after every battle, it's always time to fight again. I know we promise we will try to put our weapons down in the end. But after every battle, it's always Time to fight again. Please sever the ties of the old you and I. Sever them, sever them clean. Clip back the yellow leaves, focusing only, please, on the emerald green. Thank you. <laughs> emerald green in that song is the possibility. And that's what you all are creating with your amazing work with education. Uh, this is a song called Be the One that I wrote inspired by working with teenagers directly by them. I'm just floored by that energy, that enthusiasm, and that willingness when they're given the opportunity to put their voice into space or to put what they see on a canvas, or to write their words out, or to just you know, try to express what they're feeling, just how beautiful that is. And what that creates from their own creation creates another opportunity, another possibility. So it's called Be The One. <laughs> I'm so excited to present it to you guys. Because teachers will sometimes feel lonely. <laughs> I want you to be the one to find a way out of nowhere. Be the one to open doors and stand. Head held high, stand in pointed places and make them round. I want you to be the first in the place over hushed voices to make a sound. Make the sound child. I want you to be the one, feel the rhythm in the room, and never, never, never deny what lives inside of you. Be the one to listen, be the one that hears possibility. Across 
much. This is a song called Women of Hope. Uh, I want to thank Karen for asking me to do this. And um, this is a song that was inspired by uh, Ansang Suu Kyi, who was released after being under house arrest for the better part of 20 years uh, from being under house arrest in her country, Burma. I'm sure most of us know about this here. And I don't know if we're teaching that yet in school, but I hope we are soon <laughs> talking about her amazing plight. When she was released for 24 hours about five years ago, the military there gave her 24 hours of freedom. They thought maybe a few hundred people would come to hear what she had to say, but over a million people came to hear her. And somebody said, we're feeling very helpless living under this dictatorship, what can we do? And she said, if you're feeling helpless, help someone. That was very moving to me. I cried when I read that. So I put that quote in this song, and I really feel helpless a lot of times with our school system when I'm teaching, because I'm not working in very privileged settings. Um, uh, the machine is so big, history is so vast, the story history, her story, the story of nationality, the story of our religion, the story of our nationality, the story that our family has told us, and the stories we hear in this public, um, this culture of public shaming, of all these reality shows, it's frightening to dream out loud. So we have all these stories of how we're supposed to be as adults, but as children, it's frightening to dream out loud. So it's so great that you guys are, you know, encouraging that, to dream out loud, you know. 
Um, I often think of her quote, if you're feeling helpless, help someone when I'm working. So hopefully we can take some inspiration from her amazing words. They stood together under a tree in tall grass on TV Telling the world their story We will be left to wonder and fade away Soldiers came and took our husbands at the break of day
people of change, people of love, joy, no shame. I believe the Almighty knows each and every one of you by your name. All right, thank you so much. finish with this song. Uh, it's for you because you're vision warriors. I have a friend named called himself Vision Warrior, visionwarrior.com. He does all kinds of great work talking about substance abuse. He's spoken to over a million youth in the country. Uh, he comes to many public schools. He spoke to him, speaks in many schools, so visionwarrior.com. But he inspired this song as did you. So if you need to move it, and you need to clap or slap your hip, you know, you know, you're sensual people because you believe in change. You're the sexiest people, actually. It's true, right? Come on now, come on. Come on. I feel your feel. <laughs> this is for the vision warrior who knows that the ghetto is sacred land. This is for you soul survivors who take the time. Thank you.